We're following new revelations in the Indiana teens murder case. The judge unsealing more than 100 documents, including how prosecutors say the suspect killed two girls while they were hiking and allegations that he confessed more than once. Alex Perez has the details on that. Alex, good morning. Hey, good morning, Witt. This is the first time we're hearing those new details about those alleged confessions the suspect made while in custody. This morning, new disturbing revelations in the Delphi double murders of Libby German and Abby Williams. In these just unsealed documents, prosecutors allege suspect Richard Allen confessed to the crime multiple times in jail phone calls with his wife and mother. According to the more than 100 court documents obtained by ABC News, a prosecutor say Allen allegedly admitted that he committed the offenses that he is charged with no less than five times, including in a phone call to his wife on April 3rd, where he allegedly said several times that he killed Abby and Libby before she abruptly ended the call. In a June 15th hearing, Allen's defense argued the confession is unreliable because of his deteriorating mental health. These new confessions are really interesting because they do speak to whether or not he may have actually made a genuine confession. But I also think it's going to strengthen the defense's case that a normal person under normal circumstances wouldn't do that on the telephone. The remains of the 13 and 14 year old best friends were recovered near this trail Valentine's Day 2017. Authorities finding this image of a suspect on Libby's phone, along with a chilling audio recording, believed to be their killer's voice. While Allen admitted to authorities he was on the trail the day of the murders, it was an unspent bullet discovered near the bodies that investigators traced back to his gun. But for the first time, the new court documents also revealing authorities believe a knife was used in the murders. Allen, arrested and charged last October, has pleaded not guilty. In those documents, his defense team claims he is being held like a prisoner of war at a maximum security prison, kept in a small six by 10 foot cell, sleeping on a pad on the concrete floor. His attorneys also say they've observed a steep decline in Mr. Allen's demeanor, ability to communicate, ability to comprehend, and ability to assist in his defense. And the trial date for the suspect has been set for January of next year. Guys? All right, Alex, our thanks to you for your reporting. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.